What are the top three reasons that you should think about buying a home now instead of waiting till the spring? This is JJ Johannes with IE Homes. And today we're gonna to talk about the three reasons that you as a buyer should consider buying a home now instead of waiting till spring. Number one is competition. Buyers like to wait till spring before they go out and look at homes to make an offer. Sellers at the same time like to wait till spring before they get their home ready to sell. So what this causes is that the demand is higher than the supply. And when that occurs, what we see happens, happen is sometimes homes will sell within a few days and sometimes even hours. Another thing that can occur is you'll have multiple offers on a property. And this can be very frustrating for buyers during this uh, period of time because they're seeing homes that come on the market be gone before they can go into them or if they go into it right away and they make an offer, now they're competing with another person who came in to make an offer as well. So this can be very frustrating for buyers. So by looking at homes now and making an offer now, it's less likely that you're gonna deal with competing offers and homes that sell really quickly. Number two is price. As we just talked about, when the demand is more than the supply, what that typically does is that drives up price as well as competing offers. If there's competing offers, that will drive up price as well. And that can be very frustrating for buyers because they have a budget of what they're looking for and then what they're willing to spend and what they think they can get might not be quite obtainable at that budget when there's competing offers and it drives up the price. And again, looking at properties now, there'd be less likely that you have that competition and you have that supply and demand in balance helping you get a better value on that property. Number three is timing. Buyers are thinking, if I look in the spring, I make an offer in the spring, I'll get a move in spring or summertime. But what they don't think about sometimes is, if you make an offer now or in the next few days, if you have a 60 or 75 day closing, you're gonna be closing into April. So the closing date is something you can negotiate and you can have a closing date out a little bit further if you and the seller can come to terms. So making an offer, let's say in the middle of February that gets accepted and you have a 60 day closing, you're closing in the middle of April now. And so sometimes by thinking that through, you can see that you have a chance to not have to move during the winter time by making an offer now when it is still cold and there's snow on the ground. Ultimately, you have to find the right fit for you as a buyer. But these are some things to take into consideration. If you would like to discuss this any further, feel free to reach out to us. 319-540-1002 is my cell phone, or you can email me at jj at Have a great day.